Welcome to the last homework video of the school year, which is very exciting. Um, the last homework video we did was the circulate, circulatory system of the body. And this one's the circulatory system of plants, and it's how vascular, vascular plants transport water and nutrients to all the different parts of the plant. This would be um, what the inside of a stem or a trunk would look like, kind of. Uh, the blue outside part is called the dermal tissue in the same way that the outside of our skins is our dermis. So the dermal tissue protects the plant. Um, the vascular tissue are the this holes that are not filled in and they transport either water and minerals or sugar to different parts of the plant. So these are the, the transportation tubes. And then the pink ones are the ground tissue and they're solid and they provide the support to actually keep the plant um, standing. So if they weren't there it, would be, it wouldn't have any support. You can think of them almost like the bones in our body that keep us supported. Okay. Uh, there are two types of vascular tissue. The first one is called xylem. You will need to write this definition down in your notes. Uh, they can be skinny, they can be wide, but uh, they transport water and minerals up from the roots to the leaves. So they draw the water and minerals that the roots are absorbing for the plant and take them where they need to go. This is only a one-way transportation route. Xylem do not let anything go back down. They only pull water up and out. All right. Second type of vascular tissue is the phloem. And it transports food and nutrients made in the leaves to the rest of the plant. Uh, when a plant does photosynthesis, we know it gives off oxygen, but it also creates energy to be used in the plant uh, in the form of sugars. And they need to get to all the parts of the plant, even down to the roots, so the roots can grow, and up to the highest branches so they can continue growing as well. In the phloem, the sugars can travel back and forth. They can travel down to the roots, they can travel up to higher branches, so there is no, um, there is no one way obligation there, they can go either way. You need to write down what phloem do in your notes. Okay. There are two types of growth in a plant. Primary growth is literally just when the plant grows taller and when the roots get deeper. That's all. Secondary growth is when they get wider and you see that when um, trees form rings. And you know that a tree that's bigger around is typically an older tree. So that's secondary growth and primary growth. Okay, oh no. My boards are going to fall off. Alright, <laughs> got it. So, the two things that are moved are water and minerals <coughs> in the xylem and sugar in the phloem. Now, the water is actually, it's pulled up by evaporation. There's no energy needed. So, the roots absorb the water. And the leaves are exposed to the sun. When the water in the leaves evaporates, it pulls up water all the way up from the roots. Water likes to stick to each other and, um, and because of that they literally pull uh, other water molecules up and out to the very tips of the plant. Sugar, however, um, needs the energy created in photosynthesis to actually move. You need to know that water is pulled by evaporation to the leaves 
and that sugar is moved by energy. And we're done.